it's Jess here and welcome to another day of Planmas. Today we are cooking together. We're going to be baking slash cooking. I guess technically it's baking because it's a dessert. We're going to be making my one of my favorite classic Christmas desserts that is trifle or English trifle. And this is a dessert that has a layer of cake and custard and fruit and cream and lots of delicious stuff. English trifle is just so tasty. I like it. Are you kidding? What's not to like? Custard? Good. Jam? Good. Meat? Good. So, um, the one big thing here is that I'm going to be making everything from scratch in this video. <laughs> so, um, usually you can buy most of these ingredients pretty well, easy to just put together yourself. But um, here in Finland, I wasn't able to buy like a cheaper um, vanilla sponge cake. I couldn't buy the proper custard. There is vanilla sauce here, but not like English custard um, that you want for a trifle. And I couldn't buy um, jelly or jello, as Americans call it. Um, they don't have it like their own brand or anything. They usually import American jello. And I couldn't be bothered going up to the big shop that actually has the American <laughs> jello packets. So we're gonna make jelly from scratch. I've never made jelly or custard from scratch before, so that'll be fun in this video. Um, I will say I will be filming everything, like just hands and bowls and things, and I'll be doing a voiceover so you won't have to deal with this phone um, sound through the whole video. No you have to deal with too much cooking sounds either. Um, Locke and I were cooking together in the kitchen at Tandem, helping each other out, and... <laughs> I'll leave in some bits and bobs here that were funny or interesting, but otherwise I'm just going to do a voiceover for most of this cooking because it was just easier in the end uh, with the way I filmed it. Um, but I think it'll still be an enjoyable video. I will also say that I'm making a very classic version that my Nana would always make, um, so that I grew up with, but you can find really tasty, like themed and different flavors of trifle. I know N Nigella has a Black Forest trifle, which uses chocolate custard and cherries. And that sounds really good. Uh, but this one, we're going to be making a vanilla sponge cake. We're going to be making cherry jelly because I found cherry juice, which is really interesting. I don't think you can buy that in Finland, uh, Australia, but you can in Finland. Um, I'm going to be making um, a vanilla custard. Then we're going to be using tinned fruit on top and then whipping some cream to put on top. And we will and we'll also be soaking the cake in sherry. Now, obviously, you can use different liquors or alcohols or even none at all. But I think my Nana just left in the alcohol and let us all eat it as kids. Like, no big deal. You know, she was a was the greatest generation, I guess, was my Nana and Papa. So... They didn't care about kids having a little alcohol at Christmas. <laughs> That's how I always remember the trifle. So I will be using sherry in this. Um, it is a very like standard, old fashioned way of making the trifle as well. Um, and I think some people use jab and other things as well, but I was always into the tinned fruit, mixed fruit. So yeah, this is how I'm going to be making it. And then at the end, we are going to be eating it together, having a try on camera because, you know, um, the best part about cooking videos is watching people eat it at the end, in my opinion. <laughs> so I have, we'll help with trying it at the end too, but um, this is going to take two days. And if you're going to make this for actual like Christmas or a holiday event, it, you can do this days in advance. It just lives in the fridge and like gets tastier as it goes on. So you can make this ahead of time. For the first day, I'm going to be making cake, jelly, and custard, getting them all cold and in the fridge because you want them cold when you assemble the next day. Of course, you can just do this in one day if you pre-buy those things um, or make the jelly ahead of time. But yes, yeah, so that's all I'll be doing in this video. Then the next day, we're going to be putting those together with the fruit and some whipped cream and you have a trifle. So let's get into the cooking. We're going to start by making the jelly and I have this cherry nectar that said it had pulp in it so I did put it through a sieve but it didn't really have pulp in it. 
um, but I do recommend a nice full juice for this. Um, this is what the recipe recommends. All the recipes will be linked down below. Um, but I just made, I just pulled out 700, I, would, I didn't grab that jug. <laughs> um, I just poured 700 mils of the uh, juice. And I'm going to put one tablespoon of gelatin powder into it. Super simple. Then we're going to let that sit um, and let the powder bloom, basically. So I'm just pouring these things out here. So that's just some of that gelatin powder. We've got plenty more to make more jelly later on. So that's just going to, I'm going to mix it up and let it sit while we put the actual juice, the rest of the juice onto the heat and get it boiling and bubbling. And then we're going to add it into the gelatin mixture and you're done basically. Slight reflection of me in the bottom of the pot. <clears throat> How are we going to be in there? It's going to be like a, what's his name? Andy Richter. Oh. Now I have to be over this side. This one. Oh, we're gonna do this anyway, so we should. Should we be pre up eating the oven for yes. the cake? Mystery hand. <laughs> so here I am with the hot. Is this a Jess video without a burp? Anyway, here I am with the hot juice. Um, I just let it boil for a little bit, and we're gonna pour it into the gelatin while whisking. And now you sweeten it up. And in the recipes you find online, it's always to make you know natural sugar-free kind of jellies but I'm like this is Christmas and I'm gonna use sugar and it's not very much um, so we ended up putting three tablespoons in here um, I did taste the juice beforehand to see if it was sweeter I would have put less for sure but this was a pretty um, it was pretty sour actually juice like it made your jaw clench a little so I added three tablespoons, but that's the most that I would add, honestly, to make this jelly. Um, but in the recipes, they said you could also use honey. So it's up to you, but I'm like, well, I'm just making fun jelly here. <laughs> um, so why not? And then I poured it into a different bowl to set. I don't know why. I could have just left it in this one bowl. <laughs> don't be like Jess, just use one bowl. But anyway, I poured it into another bowl for some reason. I think it's because the recipe says now decant it into your des dessert bowls. But I'm not doing that. Because we're just going to cut up the jelly at the end anyway. Um, but we're just going to put some cling film over the top and put that into the fridge. If you can get the cling film unwrapped. <laughs> there is a bit of cling film in this recipe overall, to be honest. But... Um, uh, yeah, that's just the nature of it, isn't it? If you have like a, a bowl that has a lid, I would use that because it's you know much more simple because you're just going to put this jelly in the fridge to get nice and jelly-like overnight. So we're all done here. God, oh, I missed, mixed it up already. It just fell out. Oh. So starting on the custard, you do have to separate four egg yolks, and um, I screwed up the first one on camera, of course. So I thought I'd let you enjoy that. Um, but before we do that, let's put the whole milk and double cream onto heat. You just want to get them to pre-boiling, so they just start to bubble, but not too hot. But I'm just putting it on here. Um, and then we get our four egg yolks properly separated <laughs> and then what we're going to mix those things together we're going to mix it with um what am i doing here oh i'm gonna i'm gonna put a certain amount of sugar in but it was a gram measurement so i made sure to put my bowl and get the gram measurement because it is more is better so i want 70 grams I get one gram perfectly each time now. 
Nice. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's ruined. And then uh, with the sugar, we're also going to add vanilla and corn flour. And the corn flour and the egg yolks, while getting cooked, will thicken up this cream. Um, that's how we're going to get a nice, thick, smooth cream with both of these. Now the recipe I used, I actually made, it says 100 grams of sugar and, and three tablespoons of corn flour, but I did four tablespoons of corn flour to make it thicker for the trifle and only 70 grams of sugar because I didn't want it to be as sweet. And that's what the comments recommended actually. Yeah. This is one teaspoon of vanilla. Are you joking? Do you want a teaspoon measure? I think I'm just gonna free pour it. That's how you do vanilla. All right, now I mix this, mix this together. Wix. Wix. I know what I'm doing with the, uh, the stuff. What? Well, we're gonna bring capsicum. So I'm gonna cut that up into tiny pieces and okay. make a, an egg white. Pepper There's also bacon stuff. I know. Alright. That's works to get works. <laughs> mixed. Works. Whisking? Yeah. Whisk. Oh, that's thick. Yeah. Put a little bit. Yeah. We're nuts. <laughs> now you can see it pouring in at the top. I just turn this down because then it's heat yep. kitten. You could turn the back one on instead. But that's gonna make it really hard to pour. Yeah. Alright. You hear me done whisking? Yeah. And I'm going to put it in here and then gently cook. So that's why I turn it all the way down. Because now I'm going to cook the corn flour. Looks like custard. See, I think I was the most nervous about cooking um, the custard because I've never done this before and it is easy to curdle and cook your eggs. But this came out perfectly. I was so happy with it. So while well, luck was stirring that on the heat, I got started with the cake. It's a very simple cake. Just use any vanilla cake recipe, to be honest. I'm not going to link this one because it came out kind of dry. The cooking time was too long. Um, but it's just a vanilla cake using oil instead of um, butter, basically. And I do like an oil cake a bit more than a butter one. We just got the usual flour and I also did less sugar as well overall because um, I don't think I don't like things so sweet and then we use baking powder and got a little bit of salt in there too of course mm. all right now I'm gonna put the rest of the ingredients which is now you know the rest of the story just use the rest of this whole milk yeah once a cup of milk that's basically the, just a bit under the rest of it yeah oh, that worked down <laughs> i was actually gonna put some of that in the omelet so and then i was just mentioning because we bought we don't drink whole milk we draw we drink super skim milk um that's lactose free so we bought whole milk specifically for this recipe um, and the, I was able to use it for both the cake and the custard as well as Locke put some in their egg white omelette. The white egg, <laughs> um, they made an omelette from those leftover egg whites from the separation of the custard. So nothing went to waste with this recipe because we added in the oil and the vanilla as well as some eggs. And now I'm going to whisk it together and I probably should got, I should have gotten my electric hand mixer out because 
this really hurt my whisk. <laughs> You'll probably see at the end of this fast forward that my whisk is struggling. And when I decanted the mix, the batter, there was a little bit of flour at the bottom, but I don't think that made a huge difference. Plus, we're just going to be putting this trifle on the bottom, this cake on the bottom of our trifle, and then we're putting alcohol onto it, so I don't think it was a huge deal to just have a quick little cake. And then I'm just decanting into my 9x9 nine nine inch tin. This is from Nordic Wear, and I got it for brownies, but I've been using it for everything. Cakes, enchiladas. I just love cooking in this thing. <laughs> It's such a good little pan and I really like the 9 by 9 size. I've yet to make brownies in it, so I really should next time. Um, maybe some January winter brownies will be good because I think I'm going to make cookies for actual Christmas because we've already treated ourselves to this trifle. That's probably enough. Um, but yeah, just uh, banging that out. Make sure it's all spread out and put that into the oven per directions. Four hours later. <clears throat> Seriously, I was so, so shocked about our custard. I could have, you know, I thought we would have to sieve, put it, pour it through a sieve at the end, but we didn't. Look at this bad little girl. I love her so much. She's so thick and smooth and shiny. I highly recommend. If you've been scared to do custard, don't try it. It's actually really good. And it was so tasty. It just smelled like custard. So the thing with me growing up is that my mom would always make me hot custard like this, but she, she made it from a pa you know the packet powder, which is almost the same as this basically. But yeah, she would make me custard, and I would sit there in the living room, eat my hot custard, and I would usually watch the movie Top Gun. So I always think of custard. I think of Top Gun. <laughs> I watched that movie a lot as a kid, and I loved custard. Um, but anyway, so we're going to put cling film on, and you're going to make sure you actually press it onto the custard so it doesn't get a skin when it gets cold, because it will grow a little skin, and you don't want that. So press it in there and get that into the fridge, and day one is done. All right, guys, we're going to put the trifle together. I've got my trifle bowl here. Look at her, so pretty. Well, she's just a standard bowl. But what we want is a glass bowl with the tall sides and it's pretty straight, so you can see the layers of the trifle. But I've got everything out here. We just have to whip some cream and drain the fruit, and we can start assembling. So let's get into it. I'm afraid you can't tell for most of this video, but my my jumper does actually say "Merry Christmas, you filthy animal." But uh, I got that from um, uh, Primark in England. So <laughs> um, we're going to be uh, putting this all together. We're going to be cutting up the cake. I will say you should cut it up smaller than I did, like break it up into tiny little pieces um, because it's going to get, it gets really, the big pieces weren't that great in there to be honest. And um, you really want the alcohol to penetrate it. So just cut it up smaller than me. I did break them in half or I tried, but you know, a little bit of a fail on my half, plus the cake was a little dry. Mm -hmm. It's thick. So I was definitely, I, I was amazed at my thick custard, and also this jelly is real jelly. Look at her. I can't believe that worked as well, so if you're, don't be afraid to try out your own jelly too, because it is amazing. Well, it's jelly. It's jelly, yeah. Oh, now I can make jelly. Mm. You can make wanky jellies. <laughs> Sparkling wine and just like mimosa jelly. Oh, yeah, you put like this layered panna cotta jelly thing. Yeah. Should we try it? Uh, can I get a spoon? It'll be easier. Then, <laughs> ooh. It's a. Kind of wacky looking. Well, let's try the jelly. I'm gonna talk. <laughs> I'm gonna try. It's crazy. It tastes like jelly. The It'll jelly be... tastes like jelly. 
It, li- oh, it tastes like Stobo the? jelly. This is cherry. It's not, it tastes a bit it, like red jelly. <laughs> it just tastes like, yeah, red. <laughs> Should we try the custard? She custody. It tastes like custard. <laughs> what the heck? Well, the things that we made turned out like the things we wanted them to turn out like. I know, we've never made jelly or custard before and it worked. Alright, I guess we should put together the last bits. So they're not too sweet. I don't yeah, know if they still want Too much vanilla in the custard. That's intense. Too much vanilla? Okay, we're going to whip some cream to put on top. Just whip all of it. Yes. But I don't think I want to put any sugar in. I kind of like whipped cream without well, sugar. Keep in mind the sherry is going to be there as well. So That's true. But yes. like, that's sweet. There's my finger. That's sweet. Actually, it's not too sweet. And that's not, that's kind of sweet. I'd like, yeah. That could have been cooked less still. That looks kind of dry. But that's the point. This is just a standard cake. Nope, that looks fine. It's just a corner bit. Yeah. That's a bit sweet. Not like overly so, but... No. No. I'm just going to fast forward me whipping this cream, but I just used the hand mixer. No sugar or anything. Just whipping it up and getting that cream everywhere. All over the kitchen. And it was great. I love whipping cream. I don't know why. It's just really fun. Okay, now I'm going to put it together. I should break these in half. Okay, now it's time to assemble and I am going to quicken this up a little bit. But yeah, those cake pieces were way too big for our little bowl. But nonetheless, and of course we had a lot of cake left over. But it wasn't the best cake, I'll be honest. So, meh. But um, everything else was amazing and the cake worked really well in the end, in the travel. But yeah, I would have broken those up a little bit more and squished them a bit more. This is the sherry that I used. It's from Spain. Just use whatever. This is literally a nine euro sherry. It's cheap. <laughs> cheap as chips. Uh, I'm not going to be drinking it like normal afterwards. So I didn't see the point in buying a really expensive sherry. And I'll probably just use it for cooking in the future. But um, I do like the little hit of, ch- of sherry because it adds a little something. Cuts through the sweetness a little bit. Then I'm going to layer my jelly on. Um, I just cut that into pieces and rearranged it um, throughout the whole thing. And oh my god, the jelly texture is so good in the tech in the trifle. Um, of course, I'm doing this voiceover later and I just, yeah. In fact, I'm doing this having finished the, t- the travel today. And I'm sad it's all gone because it was really good. Um, and then we're going to put the custard on top. Actually, I don't think, I didn't put all of it in and we actually saved it and actually ate the rest of it with our leftovers of our last bit of trifle. And I'd say put all the custard in. As much custard as you can fit because it's so delicious and like the best part of the trifle in my opinion. So don't be afraid just to put all the custard in there because it's so good. But yeah, I love it already. (laughs) All those layers, except that big sponge cake piece, whatever. (laughs) Then I did drain all that fruit. I did buy mixed fruit that came in juice. So, um, yeah, just uh, think about that as well. I think it's better in juice and properly drained. I drained it before I started doing all the putting together. So there wouldn't be any extra juices. And then just the whipped cream on top. It's as simple as that. And it just looks so fun and delicious. <laughs> um, and it's a little bit of everything. It's like a big dessert in one. You know, all of these desserts. And there she is in all of her layered glory. Let me take you for a little spin around the travel. See, we have the fluffy top. And as you go through, you have the fruit, the custard, the jelly, and the sponge cake. If we go all around, so pretty. Well, I guess pretty, but (laughs) 
looks delicious. Everything in there is a separate dessert and that's delicious. So we're going to put a cling film over the top of this and put it in the fridge and then we'll come back for a taste test after dinner. All right, guys, it's time. We just had dinner. This has been in the fridge all day because we finished it in the morning. So now I'm going to plate it up. That's not the prettiest thing to plate up, but who cares? It's delicious. Let me try to aim it down. Okay. Okay, when we cut into it, we want to get as much of the layers as we can. So we get all the way to the bottom. And Try and get it out. All the way from the bottom, get some cake out the bottom. And some jelly and fruit and custard. Well, let's have some more. We're probably eating a lot right now, to be honest. So there we go. Yeah, it's not a pretty dessert, but it's super tasty. So uh, let me put up Lux Bowl. Well, that could be Lux Bowl. Do you want that bowl? Why not? And that'll do my bowl. Okay. Let's try it out. Try and get all the bits and pieces in there. Obviously, it's got the sherry and everything now. <laughs> I try, I just finished. Let's dance with the drive. Shout out to the Samsung gang. <laughs> but oh my god, this is so good. I feel like it can have more alcohol in it. <laughs> but it's so tasty. It tastes like trifle. It tastes like trifle. So what do you think? It tastes like trifle. <laughs> You can tell Locke just loves being on YouTube. <laughs> but, yeah, I personally could have more alcohol in it to get more of that, like, non-sweetness of the sherry, but overall, very, very tasty. I think with the tin fruits and the jelly, it makes it a more refreshing. You can't see you. <laughs> oh, and you can't see that either. Okay. But, um... The reflection in the window but yeah so i think it adds like a freshness to it and it's actually not too sweet when put all together with a cake with a lot of accoutrement that's really it but it's super tasty so i'm so glad i made that we got plenty more to eat but yeah highly recommend if you want to make it as joey said it's good <laughs> it's tasty just don't put like shepherd's pie in it as well by mistake you don't want to put meat in this <laughs> but yeah that is the christmas travel that i made for this year thumbs up it was really fun to make everything from scratch so that was super fun i hope you enjoyed this video i haven't really filmed anything like this before properly so <laughs> i apologize but i hope you enjoyed it anyway talking of a luck spoon <laughs> As they clean their bowl, but um, yeah, so I'm gonna go and eat more of this tribal because it's yeah, super yum. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stick around for the rest of Planmas. We've got plenty more videos coming up this month. Bye! I love you. I love tribal. Bye! <laughs>